Hello everyone, welcome back to you all on the another video on MATLAB Simulink. In this video, we are going to present a bus selector. What is the need of bus selector and how can we use with a MATLAB Simulink? Okay, so first we will understand what is the bus selector. So what bus selector will do? The bus selector will allow you to use a management of multiple signals and it will enable us a better organization of the signals. So to understand briefly you of the bus selector and how to use the MATLAB simulator, we'll just create a group of signals. Okay, so to create a group of signals, first what we'll do, we will use a bus creator. And once we have created the group of signal, we need to extract a particular signal from the selected signals so for that one we will use a bus selector so we'll connect it so to create a signal group of signal i'm using a sine wave form as an input signal and i'm giving as a name an input one and I am using a constant, another signal that is a constant signal. I am giving is a input to. When I clicking on, double clicking on this block, you can see there will be two inputs appears here. You can increase the number of inputs by increasing here number of inputs and make it apply. So here new signal will appear. So Again, we can connect the wire and changing the value and changing the name to the input 3. So when you are clicking here, all the input 1, input 2, input 3 will be appearing here. So this is the group of the signals. So this we have created with the help of bus creator. So now out of three signals or out of n signal, we want to extract a particular signals. So what we can do, we'll just click on this one bus selector. All three inputs are appearing here. We'll remove this. So all three inputs will be appearing here. So out of which, for example, I want to use, I want to extract the information from the input 1 input 2 i just click on this one and select it and input 1 select it and you can change the order you can make it up and down so input 1 i am making up and input 2 is a down and make it okay so now i want to use a scope and number of ports i want to use a 2 and I will disconnect the scope with the help of bus selector. With the help of bus selector. So when you are connecting this one, this inputs 1 and 2 will be appearing here. So what now whatever name we have given to here, the same input name will be appearing here. Okay, so this is what this is the, the scope where we are seeing the output. Okay, so now we will use a power V block. And we'll change the simulation type from continuous as it will increase the simulation speed when we are doing the simulation in the discrete domain. Okay, so now I'll run it. As you can see here, so what can we do? We'll change the frequency of the sine wave so we can analyze this back clearly. So input 1 is a sine wave and our input 2 is a constant block. So as you can see here, when we are changing the legends for this one, so the input 1 is the sine wave form and input to is the constant. Okay, so
so for example i want to use i don't want to use the input 2 and i want to use the input 3 as well so i'll apply i'll use the input 3 and i'll apply it and i'll remove this one and i connect it this one so input 3 will be appear here so input 3 is 3 so i'll run it so the input 3 will be constant and input 1 will be uh, sine wave form so by this way we can analyze the signal and we can get the signal and we have better organizations of the, our input signal using the bus selector or bus creator so thank you for watching my video on simulink bus selector i hope you have found it informative and that helps you tackle complex system with ease don't forget to like this video share it with your fellows engineers and subscribe to my channel for more simulink and matlab tutorials if you have any questions or topic you had like us to cover in the future leave a comment below happy morning and see you in the next video thank you thank you very much